Hey guys, Gamebeer20 back again, and today we are going to review the Nintendo NES Classic Edition. I'm not going to lie, this controller is way smaller, smaller than it looks. I mean, this thing's tiny. Let's hook this up. I actually found a way that I actually changed my HDMI cord to a longer HDMI cord because the HDMI cord they give you is like tiny. So, I don't know, let's hook this up and see. I don't know. Plug this in. Oh man, Nintendo, you tripping, man. Look at this. Look how tiny I You can't even like stretch this out. I even have like I guess if you buy a really long HDMI cord, you might be able to, you know, that's what you need to do. Instead of buying an extender for the core for the controller, that's gonna put some delay in your buttons. I would buy a really long HDMI cable because you can use any one you want and then you'll be able to stretch it out as long as you want. The fact that we got to do that, Nintendo, that's ridiculous, man. I, that's, I guess I'm just going to sit on the floor and play this for this review. Let's get started. Okay guys, here we are on the main menu. I'll run through the games real quick. We got Mario Bros, Mario Bros 2, Mario Bros 3, Tecmo Bowl, Zelda, we got Zelda 2, Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Bros, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out, Star Tropics, Super C. Yeah, so there you go, 30 games. Quite a, quite a good deal, I think, for 60 bucks. Let's go ahead and jump into a classic. Let's just go to Mario Bros. Let's test out this controller. Seems pretty responsive. Let's try some fast jumps here. Yeah, it works pretty well. That works pretty well. So let's go ahead and, uh... oh yeah, that's right. In order to go to the main menu, you actually have to go to the console and hit the reset button. And then you go back to the main menu. There's actually a way around that. You can get a classic controller for the Wii and plug it in and you hit the home button and it'll take you back to the home screen. I don't know why they didn't put a home button on the classic controller. All right, let's try another one. Let's try Excite Bike. So that works pretty good. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. And it's pretty fast. And I don't know, you know, my video ain't gonna do it justice because I'm just filming my TV. I'm not using like a capture card or anything. And uh, the HD looks really, really great. I have no idea how it's coming out on tape right now, but yeah, it looks really good. Let's try one more.
Alrighty. Let's go back to the main menu. I don't want to play too much, but a, a cool thing about this is you can go down here and you can actually like save this to one of these slots. So you can actually have four save spots for every one of these games, which is really, really cool. I mean, I think that's really, really sweet. I think Nintendo should have made it to where you could have like downloaded more of these virtual console type games. I, you know, I think they would have made more money. It would have been really, really cool. I mean, heck, people are doing it already anyways with like those, uh, those pies or whatever they want to call them, those raspberry pies. People are already kind of making their own, uh, which is kind of understandable because these things are so hard to find right now. It's crazy, but that's pretty much it for this review, guys. There ain't much to it. You can go to the display options and do pixel perfect, uh, four, three, or, uh, or you can do CRT. You know what? I haven't tried the CRT filter yet. Let's try this real quick. I just have to try it. Let's go back to Mario Brothers. I want to see if this looks like old school TV here. You know what? Let's do Mario 3. Let's try this out right now. All right, Mario 3. Supposedly, oh, okay, I can kind of see the white, the lines. I don't know how you guys can see it on TV, but yeah, this is kind of mimicking on old school TV if you're playing like on a new TV, which obviously you are because it's HDMI, but. Yeah, it looks cool. I don't know how much I'll be using this feature, but it's kind of neat that it's there. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys, for this review. I think the controller is really high quality made. The biggest complaint, obviously, is it's just too short of a, a, a you know, the cord is way too short. You cannot, come on, let's, let's get real here. You can't use it unless you're, like, sitting on the floor in front of it. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, but there is a way around it. You can buy a really, really long... HDMI cable and you can get away with it that way. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a longer HDMI cable But it's a shame we have to do that. Oh, that's pretty much all for right now guys Hope you guys enjoy this little preview or review of the Nintendo NES Classic Edition I know a lot of people already made them, but I kind of want to do my own and that's pretty much all for right now. There'll be more to come shortly guys. Thanks again